So this is a list of bad habits that most artists fall into, these rookie mistakes and traps that the music industry told you that you're supposed to do to market your music. And I want you to be real with me if you've done any of these before, I'm totally guilty of doing all of them. So let me know if you've got one out of three, two out of three, or three out of three from the following list, all right? So number one is you announce some new music with the artwork and the date in the caption. Have you ever done that before? Number two, have you ever posted up a snippet of a music video with the link in the caption? YouTube.com forward slash blah, blah, blah. Well, number three, have you ever started a caption by saying in case you missed it? and then given a repost or a repush of some old material, maybe in the feed, in the stories, as a reel or whatever. Like, come on, let's have some honest conversation. I think this is exactly what we need to stop. In 2023, this is not gonna work. The modern creator doesn't do this anymore to market their music. What they do instead of these three activations is number one, find a new way to hype up their fans. Maybe by showing how the song was made. I've seen a drummer tap out a sound on a water bottle and then say turning that into the drums that made my new song. So there's a fun little narrative or a mechanic that brings your song into life to announce it. One of the amazing ways I've seen from a creator called Lana Lubaini to market her music is by showing all the different members of her family her half English, half Arabic song. And she sits them in the car, plays it on the car stereo, and hears their reaction with some awkward text popping up on the screen of what they think of the song. And she's really anxious if they're going to like it. And of course, they always do. And as a viewer, you watching that reaction from her sister, from her mum, from her granddad, it all brings up the anticipation of wanting to go onto Spotify and listen to the song. Because actually subconsciously you become that person in her life, understanding and hearing the song for the first time. It's not actually about the relative, it's about you, the listener. And so artists can try different mechanics like this by putting your best friend in the car, doing the car test, and even when they interrupt, filming that moment to then put some awkward text like saying, I wish they'd stop talking or wait for the drop. Oh my God. Some text just to bring hype to the situation. And finally, when the song is out, you can perform it over and over and over again. And not enough musicians do this. For the Super Bowl, they practice six months for a 30 minute performance. But some artists don't even perform their song to their own fans on Instagram. Forget about playing at a show. Forget about going on a tour. Forget about, you know, being on Colors or a huge YouTube channel. For your own fans, how many times do you perform your own song? Be honest. If you're scared to do it, we need to unpack the reason why. Because you're worried what people will think. Because you're not sure if people will like the song. Because you will feel judged by singing to a camera. And those issues, when you tackle them, bring out a new side of your music. Because when people see you overcome your fears, they'll want to listen to that song more. When people see you having a genuine reaction of happiness, excitement and passion of performing, they'll want to go and listen to your full song. So do you see how much of a difference that is between the old way of promoting your music and the new way of storytelling about your song? So if you have a song or an EP dropping in 2023, I want you to watch this video right here. It's the 100,000 streams debut EP challenge where I took a rapper who had never got more than 50,000 plays on a song before and took them and propelled their EP beyond 100,000 streams.